There is no easy way to tell this story. It's difficult. It's not something we normally focus on because it's just so difficult, but here we are. By now you've heard about the skyrocketing number of teenagers and young people battling mental illness during COVID. Well, this is 19-year-old Daisy Long. She had the world at her feet. She brought love into every room. In the words of her family, she was vivacious, kind and bright. And after suffering a debilitating illness as a teenager, she longed to travel the world and study. But COVID took that from her, robbed her of freedom, and she just couldn't see a way out. On August 6th of this year, Daisy tragically took her own life. I sat down with her loving mum and beautiful, courageous sister who have a powerful message for all Australians. Sally and Tiggy, thank you so much uh, for talking with me. Um, as I've said to you over the last couple of days, my words um, can't soothe um, you at this point or have any impact over, over what you've been confronting and dealing with. Uh, how, how have you been uh, to you first of all, Sally? Um, it's a journey, Carl. It's, um, I keep expecting Daisy to walk through the door. But in honour of Daisy and in her memory, we will tell this story and we hope that we can help and we hope that we can stop another child from, from doing what Daisy did, which is leaving this earth. Tiggy, uh, my daughter knows you um, and she felt this incredibly keenly and, and she didn't know your sister. How has it been for you? It's been extremely difficult. I've felt like there's just a missing piece in my life. Um, Daisy was like my other half to me. Um, but Daisy was the one who taught me strength and um, she went through many challenges in life and she always had a smile on her face and held her head high. From the ages of 13 to 16, Daisy was chronically ill with tick-borne disease. So during those years when she should have been at school having fun and enjoying herself, instead she was bedbound. We kept saying to her, once you are better, your life will be better. You will go ahead and achieve your goals and dreams. And she focused on that. So she applied for psychology at Macquarie University, was accepted and began her degree this year and she received high distinctions. Then COVID lockdown began and it sent her spiralling downwards. Was it the second lockdown that you think that really she couldn't cope with? I don't know why they use the word lockdown because to a, to a young person that means prison. That means I'm trapped. Tiggy, you're in that age bracket. What was it like for you and what was it like to see your sister? It, I saw that, I saw that lockdown was affecting her and I think I saw it more than anyone. Um, me and my sister were extremely close. Um, and it, it, it does feel like prison. It, it feels so lonely and it feels like it's never gonna come to an end. And when you get in that headspace of I'm trapped and it's never gonna end, you, you think, how can I survive lockdown? So what, what would you say then, Sally, just might make a difference um, for someone to lean into their, their kids and say something? Don't get hung up on the small stuff. Don't, don't get hung up on whether they've done the essay or not, you know. It, it's, it's neither here nor there at the moment, really, because no disrespect to the education system, but um, at the moment, they need to be having whatever release of freedom and fun they can have. You know, if they want to sit up and watch a movie till three in the morning, let them, because what they're doing is they're getting out of their head and you want them out of their head. You don't want them in here.
Mm. That's good advice. Tiggy? You need to voice what you're feeling. And I never used to do that. I bottled up all of my emotions. So did Daisy. And Daisy wasn't able to come to a point where she could voice what she was feeling. And I know it's not that easy, but you just have to speak up. You can write it. You can do it on Instagram. You can say it to your parents, to your friends. You just need to get it out to someone because especially in lockdown, when you are trapped in your room and you are dealing with these emotions, you'll just explode at one point. When you're dealing with mental health issues, you have to think about yourself. You have to put yourself first and work on yourself. But if it comes to these thoughts where you feel like leaving is the only way out, You need to think about the other people in your life because I have lost two people now in my life to suicide and it completely tears you apart. I feel like there is a hole inside of my heart that is missing and that will never be able to be fixed by anything. And you just have to think about the people you love because there's always at least one person who will hear you. Even if you don't think it, there's always someone who is there for you. Ooh. Heavy. Yeah. Really, really um, heavy and so courageous um, for, for mum, um, Sally and Tiggy. Uh, she's set up um, a mental health awareness blog in honour of her sister. There was a dad, Andy, there too. I mean, this is a monumental pain and grief, and this is happening around this country right now mm. a lot. So this site is called, it's called Tiggy's Perspective. You can show your support by following it on Instagram or Facebook, and if you or anyone um, know is struggling, there is help out there. Uh, you can contact Lifeline on 13 11. 14, just a beautiful young lady. Um, and thank you for doing that as, as power, you know, so powerful and confronting to watch. But I think, you know, we've been talking about it for weeks and months now that we all know someone who's in yep. this situation or someone who's been there. Um, and we don't always talk about it because it is, well, it's sometimes too hard. And, and, it? and it's not it's not what we normally do. It's, you know, life is filled with, mm. with what we try and, and for everyone at home, we try and make your day a little brighter. Some of this stuff, you can't make brighter. Mm. It's, it's just cold, hard, awful, brutal reality that some people right now, and especially our young, aren't coping. Um, so just be aware of it and, um, you know, reach out as much as you can. Yeah. As hard as it is to talk about it. Yeah. We have to talk about it. Yeah. Because it keeps happening, Carl. Mm. And can I just say, well done to you, mate. Mm. That was powerful stuff. It, it... Yeah. Yeah. It just stays with you. <laughs> it does. A little bit. Anyway. We'll be back well after done. this. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs>